Unless you're straight up delusional, you need to hear these 5 harsh truths that will not only change your outlook on how to rank up in Valorant, but how you view your life as a whole. If you don't know me already, my name is Rooney, I'm a peak top 700 player who has reached a mortal at just 15 years old in just one month of playing. And actually, I didn't just do this once, but I did it twice back to back to prove it wasn't luck. Today, I'll be giving you guys 5 harsh truths that I wish I knew before my journey to a mortal that I think can be applicable for your growth as a player and you as a person. So make sure to stick to the end to gain every last drop of free information that I have. The first harsh truth that I wish I knew before reaching a mortal is that you do do not need to do this all alone. I think a common mistake that even I made when I was younger was that I needed to do everything myself, be a lone wolf, and no life whatever goal that I'm pursuing in in order to achieve it. Whether your goal might be to lose weight and get ripped, reach your first 1000 subscribers on YouTube, or even reach a silly PNG rank like Immortal in Valorant, I think this common misconception is so overused and so fucking cringe to the point where it actually is hindering people's potential in their lives. Please understand this, everything in life is always better with a good group of people to do it alongside you. Being with like-minded individuals allows you to understand the game better, motivate each other to grow and do better, push each other to every fiber of their being to become the best, and be a support group to reach everyone's dreams. There is no secret that I only started growing on YouTube when I was at the happiest time of my life not only physically and mentally but also socially as well same thing with my valent rank my overall health and my businesses if you are truly serious and dedicated to reaching your goals please do not limit yourself by doing it all alone it's okay to ask questions and it's okay to reach out for help try your best to build healthy bonds and relationships with others who are on the exact same path as you because i guarantee as long as everyone is striving to become better and make sure everyone around them is doing so also you guys will be leagues and leagues ahead of your competition in just a couple of months and if you're still struggling to find people you can rely on and learn from, I want to introduce today's sponsor, Blazing Boost. Blazing Boost is a site where you're able to find top rating coaches to help you reach your own rank goals and has a 24 seven coverage so you can hire a coach at any time you want. On average, it takes five minutes to pair you with the perfect teacher and they offer tailored coaching for your specific needs as a player to guarantee improvement. You can use my code Rooney with all caps to get 8% off your first session and Blazing Boost is trusted by over 34 thousand people rating five stars on Trustpilot so you know it's legit. Make sure to click the link in the description to get your first session today. The second harsh truth is something I even still struggle with myself sometimes is that you're undervaluing yourself too much. I get it. It is really hard to see the value in what you bring especially if you zoom out and look at your achievements at face value. But I'll tell you right now, just because you don't have a million subscribers, have reached rating in just one week of playing, and can lift a truck within the first month of lifting experience, does not mean that you are a useless person and can't bring value to any environment you're in. Let me set this straight. Everyone has a different story. Everyone has different chapters in their lives and everyone has different pages written in their book. People improve at their own pace and everyone gets to their destinations at different times. Do not compare yourself to someone who has reached your goals earlier than you and don't belittle yourself because it seems like you're progressing slower than others. Do not let someone else's thoughts or your own thoughts devalue you and your aspirations because even if I let that happen, I would never be where I am today. I would never be 100 pounds lighter. I would never have reached almost 6,000 subscribers on YouTube and have this be my dream part-time job. And I would probably probably have never been able to reach a mortal at such a short amount of time. Understand that you do have value and don't let anyone take that away from you. The third harsh truth that people need to hear is that your sleep matters a lot for your improvement. For some reason, a lot of players have this poor habit of sleeping absolutely terribly and thinking it's okay. This could be due to being addicted as hell to Valorant or simply thinking that more hours in the game equals more RR and more improvement. One of the most important factors in not only improving in Valorant and being successful in literally anything you do in life is to make sure that your health is the top priority. There is a huge culture of romanticizing the fact that you don't sleep enough, which I never got around to understanding that. I swear it has become a competition to see who has pulled the most all-nighters or who has slept the least in a week. I'm sure you have heard all of this before, but sleep is one of the most important things to make sure that you are on top of your game. Sleep directly dictates your ability to learn process new information, correlates to your focus, decision making, and emotional responses, and again, 
is a leading factor to how healthy of a person you will become, especially for a lot of you who most likely watch at the ages of around 16 to 25. These are the most important years to make sure you are getting enough sleep. Obviously, everyone is different and needs different levels of sleep in order to operate correctly, but always try your best to shoot for around a total of seven to eight hours at minimum of sleep per night to make sure you are healthy and approaching problems with a fully functioning brain. The fourth harsh truth that many of you quote unquote grinders out there need to hear is that Valorant is not everything. When I started playing Valorant back in COVID, playing the game was literally all I would do. I would sit on the game for maybe six to eight hours of my day chasing after a PNG rank that really didn't matter at all. Even though it helped me reach Immortal in a very, very short amount of time compared to the average player, I felt super unhappy. There was no reason for me to do anything else because Valorant pretty much consumed my whole life. Because the only thing that I was good at was a stupid video game that isn't really going to benefit me in the future. It was a constant loop of me feeling shitty about myself but not wanting to change it because I only cared about the things I was good at. Only when I started to treat my life more seriously, started caring about how I presented myself, look objectively how unhealthy I was, and started working towards things outside of Valorant was when it became truly fulfilling and honestly the most fun I had playing and it was at the time I was performing the best. I want all of you listening to understand that Valorant isn't everything. It should be treated how it is to probably most of you. A hobby. It is something that you enjoy and are passionate about improving in. But it isn't more important than your social life, health, grades, career, and dreams that you want to achieve in your life. It should be something that you have genuine fun in, and when it surpasses the point of being a hobby and slowly turns more into an addiction, is when you seriously need to rethink how you see the game. And the best part is, the more you improve outside of the game, the better mental and physical health you have, and the happier you are in life. And newsflash, this all directly reflects on your performance and Valorant as well. So if you're struggling to find a purpose or a reason to improve in other skills, then and let it be to fuel your addiction to improving in Valorant. The fifth and last harsh truth that holy crap so many players need to hear is to drop your ego. I'm going to say something that will really piss some of you off so you better not get butthurt and listen up. You are not perfect. You are not the god of this world and for sure you are not better than anyone else around you. You are a human being just like everyone. You aren't special you're not gifted, and there will always, always be someone who's better than you. Now, with that out of the way, a common misconception is that being egotistical means being confident, which is simply not true. Confidence is a needed trait that you must have to be a successful person. But ego, ego is completely different. Being egotistical isn't believing yourself and your own capabilities. It's more of suppressing your deep insecurities and thinking that you are better than to practice the fundamentals or to talk down to others just because you're a couple steps ahead of them. Wherever you are in life right now, this is not the end. You're not yet at the finish line. Do not be egotistical because you are ruining your chances of pure growth that you can have. But it's masked with all this hatred and jealousy and the need to have the feeling that you are superior and better than someone else. You still have so much more to grow. You still have so much more potential that you can reach. And you still have so much more goals that you need to achieve. Instead of worrying about others and trying to keep a certain level of status to inflate your self-esteem worry about yourself and worry about what you do in your life because at the end of the day the only person you're facing against isn't your parents it isn't your rival or the person who talks shit to you in class about the dreams you have you are your own enemy and make sure you try your absolute hardest to be better than the person you were yesterday. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you truly learned a lot from this video and found tons of value from it. If you vibe with me and want to connect with me more, I do have a discord where you can ask me questions and just come talk to me and my awesome community which is linked down in the description where you will be updated about what is going on with my life and my new uploads. I also do offer affordable coaching starting at 25 USD and like I said, I do not fake my credentials and have reached my peak ranks before and I'm confident that I can help you not only reach your dream rank in Valorant but whatever you set your mind to. Again, the links are all down in the description and I appreciate everyone staying till the end. And remember, you only fail when you stop trying. I love you guys. Bye-bye.